Uh, my name is Bob Akbina and I'm director of the general practice residency at NYU Langone Health Group. So it all started in 1996. I came in an extern here. An externship was um, between University of Pennsylvania, uh, University of Pennsylvania Dental School and the hospital. Um, at the time, the hospital used to be Lutheran Medical Center. I came here and then uh, I fell in love with hospital dentistry. Then I did a year of residency, followed a year of chief residency. Then I became one of the attendings here and uh, then associate director and eventually in 2005 I became the director of the GPL program. Basically general practice residency and advanced education in general dentistry, both of them are residency in general dentistry. The only difference between them is that GPR program have to be hospital based, where AGD program do not have to be hospital based, although some of the AGDs are hospital based. Uh, meaning that there's certain requirement associated with GPRs that are not associated with AGDs. For example, the GPR residents have to have some OR experience, the GPR residents have to have ER slash medicine rotation, they have to have anesthesia rotation, and usually with the GPR program, there's some kind of on-call associated with it. So uh, my philosophy as the director of the GPR program was that always was to make a super generalist. To make a dentist is capable of doing everything. For example, um, there's things that we do in here that you might not need to do in private practice. So we are a level one trauma center and uh, we might not, you know, the resident might not do jaw fracture in their practice. But dealing with the fracture and dealing with the trauma give enough confidence and enough um, dexterity to the residents that they can handle anything in their office. So um, if you ask me what we produce, we produce super generalist. A lot of hospitals, for example, they have what is called block rotation. So all the residents, for example, are assigned to do oral surgery in the morning. So there are 10 residents are assigned to oral surgery and when they do it that way, an attending doesn't have enough time to spend with one residence. Our program is not like that. It's the rotation is one to one. So if you're on oral surgery program, on I'm sorry, on oral surgery rotation, there's one resident assigned to oral surgery, and the oral surgeon is in the room and work directly with you. If you're on perio rotation, there's one uh, resident assigned to perio, and the periodontist is there in the room with you and works one to one. And this just makes an amazing experience and I don't think we have it in other programs. Our program are very advanced in uh, our lecturing. We have something called, called Bright uh, Space Modules that the residents have almost all the lectures on them and they can see those on their own time and at their own pace. So um, they look at these lectures they have, um, at the end they have an exam and take the exam. Uh, what this makes this unique is that, let's say you're doing an implant and you took the um, lecture three months before that and all of a sudden you wanna refresh your um, knowledge. You can go back and look at the lecture again and look at the modules that you're interested in and it brings everything back together. In addition to that also, on Thursday mornings, we have um, lectures with the residents that we discuss implants, uh, endo, and um, some medical emergencies. So basically, in addition to that, they get some in-person lectures also. After this residency, I want to start working. I think I would be interested in the idea of always having some aspect of hospital dentistry in my practice in the future. Um, really sure how I would incorporate it but I've really come to appreciate how hospital how important hospital dentistry is um, in managing patients so I'll find a way to do it <laughs> um, uh, definitely before starting the program I pretty much was like I really only want to do private practice after residency um, having come here now I do think I feel a similar way that 
I would want to find a way to maybe also work at a family health center or like, um, you know, either split my time with working in hospital and private practice because I've just come to really enjoy it and come to enjoy working with the patients and the type of patients we get to see here. So hopefully something like that will be possible. Good luck to all the applicants. It's a great program. Um, wish we could see you at the interviews. Yeah. Good luck with the cycle and no matter where you end up, I'm sure it'll be great, but we really hope you choose this program. We love it. <laughs>